Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about HQL, nothing but Hibernate Query Language. Already in our previous video, we have discussed about how to use ORM tool or how to use Hibernate with .hpm file. Also, we have discussed how to use Hibernate with annotation. In case if you haven't watched that video, the link is available in the description. So please watch that video so that you will be getting a clear uh, understanding about this particular video. Okay friends, let us get into this uh, video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to use Hypernate Query language. I am using exactly same project and same database which I, which I used in my uh, previous video. So first of all, we have to understand the difference between SQL and HQL. SQL is the structured query language. In case of SQL, we will be writing a query against our table. Like we will say select star from employee table. So which means we are writing a query directly against our database or table. But as we are already familiar that Hibernate is not depending on any database which means it, is, it should be a database independent one. So which means Hibernate query language is a query against our POJO class. It is not against our uh, table. I am using the same project which I used in my previous uh, video. I hope you all un uh, gone through that previous video. The same CFG file I am using and same POJO class I am using. Already I have done my annotation I'm using the same everything is same you can look at the main class I'm going to write my HQL code or HQL query you can look at I have created my configuration and have done my session factory and session and transaction everything is same as our previous video only but here what I am going to do, the one and only different is, I am going to create a query reference and I am initializing my query with the help of session.createQuery. Within double quote, I am writing my HQL query. You can look at the query, the query is very simple. I am saying that I am going to select all the object from employee so here we need to understand one thing very uh, deeply friends in case of our sql what we will do we will say select star from employee table which means we are selecting a record from the table but you can see this one i am saying that i am going to select from employee which is my pojo class you can look at my pojo class which is already mapped with my table so finally here i am writing a query against my pojo class nothing but my java object so that's why I can say HQL is a object oriented query language. Yes, I am not saying that I am going to select a record from my table. I am saying that I'm, I want to select a record from employee object 
so that's why i can say that hql is a object oriented query so finally this is my very simple hql query to select all the employee object from the mapping table already we have done our mapping with the help of annotation i hope you remember in our previous video itself so finally this once this query is executed i will be getting a list of employee object i mean i will be getting the list of employee records in the form of employee object that i am store i am storing with my collection and as you are already familiar i am iterating my collection and each and every iteration i am making a while loop to iterate uh, each object one by one each and every iteration i will be getting the employee object and with the help of employee object to display id name as well as salary i am invoking my getter method get id to display the correspondent id as well as name and salary so once everything is done as is well i am committing my transaction and i am closing my session and i am closing my session factory as well hope oh, friends we are clear about what is hql so here the main point is sql is is a query against our table but hql is a query language but it is against our pojo class nothing but our java object so that's why i can say hql is a object oriented query language let us run this code Uh, but before that let me check our table how many records in my table i am using the same table which we used in, in our previous video almost i have yeah i think i have four records let us run this code and will verify whether it is displaying all the four records successfully or not you can look at my console the generated query is select query and it is displaying all my four records so finally here what i have done i have written a hql query to select all the records so now definitely may get a question if i want to select a particular record how will i achieve that so very simple i can come with the same uh, sql query format i can say where pojo property equal 102 for example let us assume that i just want to select only this 102 record so here one thing we have to be very clear that this id is not a table column name this id is our employee pojo class property name we as as we are already familiar hql is a query against our pojo class it's not against our table so that's why we are saying that hql is a object oriented query language right so we have to be very careful in this one we should not specify our uh, table column name we have to specify our pojo class property name let me save it and let us run it if our query is right this time it has to display only 102 record let us verify it yes 
yeah you can look at the generated query uh, friends you can see it's saying that where employee id is 102 also you can see the result it is displaying about only 102 record same way you can write any type of sql i mean uh, not sql you can type any type of uh, hql query in case if you want to explore more about hql query maybe you can go through our url so here i have explained the various type of hql query like uh, how to select uh, data with uh, dynamic field i mean uh, dynamic uh, id and same way i have a example for hql update and same way we have a example for hql delete delete and in case if you want to select a particular column right so those things already it's available in our url in case if you want to explore more maybe uh, i think you can go through our url you will be getting all those ideas so hope friends we got some basic idea about what is hql and the difference between sql and hql SQL is a query against our table, but HQL is a query against our POJO class. So that's why I can say HQL is an object oriented query language. So hope friends, we are clear about this HQL uh, query. Thanks friends for watching this video. If you like this video, you can please subscribe and you can click on the bell icon so that as soon as I upload the new video, you will be getting the notification. Also, you can share it with, uh, with your friends.